In this video, I would like to go over how to read the schematic and wiring diagram of a basic condensing unit. So normally, um, whenever you troubleshoot your system, you should actually check to see if you have your own schematic and diag uh, wiring diagram of, of the units. Usually these uh, schematic and wire diagrams are located on the side panel of of the condensing unit and you just take off the two, three, or four screws and it should be either stuck to the side or fold up inside of your unit. And these come these schematics and wiring diagram comes in very handy when you need to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on with uh, with the condensing system. So having that said, let's look at this schematic right here. Right off the bat, let's look at the power. This requires 230 volts AC single phase at 60 hertz to energize the entire system. Right here we see GR, means green. This green wire right here goes to chassis ground. Next, we can see brown or red. So this unit right here, the red wire right here goes to one side of the 120 volts AC. And then we can see this other side says black or blue, which basically this black wire right here goes to another 120 volts AC. <clears throat> and this black wire, you can see that it's just straight wires to all three components, the hard start kits, the compressor, and the fan motor. Having that said, you can see this 120 volts, 120 volts AC goes in here and energizes this side of the circuit. But it's not a complete uh, circuit. It didn't complete the circuit, so nothing kicks on yet. The other 120 volts AC on this side stops right here. This right here is a symbol of your contactor. So this system right here is a single pole contactor, which basically means that you have a contactor right here and you have a straight wire right here. As you can see that here's the straight wire 120 and here's the contactor right on this side. If you have a <clears throat> double pole contactor then you'll have another pole right here that the symbol will be just like this but on this side of the circuit. And uh, and and uh, the pole requires 24 to 26 volts AC to energize it in order for it to close. So after you have your 24 to 24, 26 volts AC energizing the system, the contactor, it shuts and then it allows 120 volts to go down the path to the rest of the circuit. You can watch this video right here is how I replaced a double pole contactor and it goes through uh, how I troubleshoot and how I replace it. So now we have 240 volts AC energizing these three components, the hard start kit, compressor, and fan motor. First, let's talk about the hard start kit. The main purpose, well, first of all, the hard start kit is optional. And second of all, the hard start kit the reason why it's optional is because it's used when you don't have enough, when you're low on voltage at your house. So you don't have your full 240 volts or 230 volts AC, you might have a little bit lower voltage and it's not enough to kickstart the compressor. So that's the main use of the hard start kit is to kickstart the compressor when it's low on voltage. and the way how you understand the hard start kit is basically you can see that this side well first of all this right here is a capacitor in the hard start kit and down here is the uh, run start capacitor for the compressor because if you trace it back this wire right here they both share the same point between capacitors and if you trace down here by the way this is a normally 
closed contactor. So if you trace down here, they also share the same path. So basically two capacitors are in parallel to each other, which means that the capacitance is increased. With a increased capacitance, that helps kickstart the compressor right here. So here is a common uh, hard start kit. This is how it looks like. And if you watch this video, it shows how I installed a hard start kit and a low voltage uh, system. For the time being, we'll ignore the hard start kit because, first of all, it's optional. And all it does is that at the very beginning, it increases the capacitance to kickstart the compressor. The next thing uh, is the fan motor. The fan motor has three proms, three terminals, start, common, and run. For this particular unit, the common and the starts share a run start capacitor, a fan capacitor right here. Usually the capacitor, the run start capacitor is between run and start, but for this particular unit it's between common and start. Because of that reason we will know that the equivalent resistance or the equivalent circuit is right here. You have winding that goes from start to run and you have winding that goes from run to common. So at the very beginning the 120 volts uh, the capacitor gets energized on the start to run side it helps kickstart the fan motor and then the common to the run side makes the fan keep going after it gets kick started. So if you want to troubleshoot your fan motor you can measure the resistance between uh, these three terminals and make sure that you have a resistance from here to there from for this unit will be from start to run and then from run to common and then if you measure between start to common you should get the entire resistance between this whole path. So if you want to uh, watch a video how I troubleshoot a fan motor you can watch this video on top right here and this second video down here <clears throat> goes through how I measure a, uh, a, a run start capacitor and how you can purchase how do you know how to purchase a, the correct capacitor for your condensing unit? So after the fan kicks on, the next thing is your compressor. So the compressor is very similar to the fan motor. It's basically a motor with a pump. So the elect electrical side is the motor, of course, and the pump is a mechanical pump that pumps freon through the condensing coils. As you can see that it is just like the fan motor, it has two windings right here and it has this extra circuit right here. This extra circuit is a uh, protection circuit that if your compressor uh, gets overheated, it disconnects the common to the rest of the circuit. So your compressor stops running so it can cool off and that's to protect the compressor but if you ignore that part basically it's just like the fan motor from start to common has a winding and from common to run has another winding right here if you uh, and between start and run has a capacitor once the capacitor kick starts the compressor then the run to common side uh, winding <clears throat> keeps the compressor keep on going. So if you want to watch a video 
on how I troubleshoot a compressor. You can watch this video right here and I go through how, how I do the measurements and determine that if the compressor was good or bad. So that's pretty much it for the schematic. Now let's look at the wire wiring diagram. Personally, I enjoy the wiring diagram better because I think it shows a, a full picture of what's going on. Just like before, the 120 volts AC goes through here. This is a single pole contactor, so the 120 volts AC keeps on going to the fan, and then it keeps on going to the rest of it, to the compressor, and down to the heart start kit. Once again, we're going to ignore the heart start kit, but you can see that it's just like before where this capacitor basically goes in parallel with this other capacitor right here. So the other side of the 120 volt volts AC stops right there and it's waiting to go across this other side once this contactor closes. So you have 200, I mean you have 26 volts AC goes through here, energizes this circuit, the contactor closes and energizes the capacitor, the common on the fan motor and uh, the compressor on the run terminal and then finally the capacitors themselves uh, complete the circuit and kickstarts the fan and the compressor. So that's basically how you review the wiring diagram of your condensing units and it's, this comes in very useful when you want to troubleshoot uh, where all the components are and where all the wiring goes to each component. Fin finally right here there's all the five videos that I just uh, talked about. This first video goes through how to troubleshoot the compressor. Next video right here goes through how to troubleshoot the fan motor how to test and purchase a run start capacitor, how to install a hard start kit, and finally how to troubleshoot and install a double pole contactor. Thanks for watching.